Do I have June here? You do. And is it Kira? Yes. Kira, who's that over there? It's my Nana. Nana, did you want to bring your granddaughter to court? No. Would you be here if this wasn't, as far as you're concerned, a last resort? Exactly, I wouldn't be here, no. Because over the years, here's the thing, you and Kira have been very close, right? But she's not your only granddaughter, correct? Correct. I need to no. brace myself for a moment. I'm looking for a great big shoe with windows in it. Madam, how many grandchildren do you have? 21. <laughs> Any great-grandchildren? Seven. Well, Merry Christmas, you found some very good lighting, madam. <laughs> <laughs> they must come to you, take money left, right and centre and never pay you back. You must be destitute, madam. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Are you? Well, or is there just one, or one greater problem? Yes, one great problem. She thinks I own Yorkshire Bank. She, she thinks you own Yorkshire Bank? Yes, she doesn't realise I just saved me money there. Do <laughs> you think Nan owns Yorkshire Bank, Kira? Not owns it, but, <laughs> um, you know... <laughs> <Shh>. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Well, Nan has got plenty of money. What is it that makes you believe that your grandma is made of money? She doesn't say no. Now, in 2012, as I understand it, you <coughs> borrowed money. What was it for? First amount. Um, it was for the car. And the truth is, you did give her that money for a car, correct? Yes. How much did you give her? I gave her £1,200. Did you make Kira write an agreement in respect of that sum? No. Why not? Well, cos she's my granddaughter and I just put my trust in her, whatever she says. Now, the reality is, in fairness to Kira, you have paid <clears> some <throat> of that money back, correct? I did, yes. How much? 300. When did you expect to get the full 1,200 back? When? Whenever she had it. Just in dribs and drabs, you know what I mean? Like I say to her, give me what you can afford to give me, but I want my money back. Do you still have that car? No. What happened to the car? I sold it. What did you get for it, madam? How um, much? I advertised it for 1995 and I think I got 1500 Why didn't you give her the £900? Because I needed to buy another car. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I do hope that Santa put you on the naughty list that year. <laughs> You're telling me you spent all of that on a new car? Don't tell me, Porkies. Did you spend any of that on yourself? Possibly, yeah. Possibly yes, possibly definitely, Judge Rinder. <laughs> yes, Judge Rinder, I did, yes. Why didn't you give it back to your nan? Well, I wanted some new stuff. <laughs> did you lend her more money? It was for um, Elisa, my great-granddaughter. She asked me for £500. How old was your daughter Elisa at the time? Four. Why did Elisa need £500 for her birthday, madam? Well, she had a swimming party. That was 220. And then the catering was 50. And then her clothes and the electric scooter and everything else I bought. £500. Adam, anything on paper. I'm buying this for my great-granddaughter, Alyssa, but I want the money back by a certain date. Anything in writing at all? No. Why didn't you give her it back? Um, I had intentions to, but then other things got in the way. Would you have begrudged Kira if she'd come to you and say, I need this money for my daughter's birthday and I'd like you to pay for it and I can't afford to pay it back? Might you have paid for it anyway? Yes. You ended up in some considerable debt with a credit card, correct? Yes, Judge. What was the level of that debt, please? Um, just over £4,500. So you didn't give her the £4,500? Yes, I did. Well, I that's... says to whatever you're paying for your loan, pay that to me every month. I will get you out of the debt, pay this off so you're not just paying the interest and not the principal sum. I'll get you out of a hole, but you give that money to me. I've got nothing in writing, madam. But it is correct that that happened, I think, in August 2017, right? Correct, Judge. And in fairness to her, she pays the first sum, £150, correct? Yes. 
And the good news is that you have a book detailing some of these payments. I Can do. I see that book, please? It's very sensible. Except you should have got it in writing. It says you paid £150 in August, a further £150. Then on the 17th of September, it goes down to 100 Then it comes to October of this year and it's 90 And you've only paid 50 leading up to Christmas. Yes, Judge. It was supposed to be a monthly agreement. And you overpaid in the August, correct? Why did you do that? Um, because I had some unexpected money come in, so I wanted to get the balance down. So I thought I'll pay my first payment quicker. We're now in a situation where she's not in breach of your agreement. Correct? How is she in breach? This agreement, as far as you're concerned, will go on and on until such time as she doesn't pay you. Is this some sort of wake-up call? I think I need a wake-up call from Kira, actually. For more Judge Rinder cases, click here. And if you've got a legal issue yourself, get in touch with us by clicking over here.